Hi, this is Prash Talwalkar, and today we're going to present the Four Knights puzzle. The setup is a 3x3 three three grid, and knights are placed on the four corners. They move according to the normal chess rules, which is you can move two spots over and one up, or two spots up and one over. The goal in this puzzle is only by using legal chess moves can you get the question is, can you get the knights in the opposite corners to swap positions? So the thing, you should give this a try. It will be very, could be frustrating at first because as you move the knight, you're going to realize uh, it, it's going to occupy a square that you want to move the other knight into. So you're constantly going to have to keep going back and forth. And the question is, can you get the knights to swap positions and if so, what is the minimum number of moves? You should definitely give this a try. Uh, once you're ready, you can continue watching the video and listen to the solution. So the reason this puzzle is interesting is you can get a very interesting solution using graph theory. And we're going to start off with a very simple technique. What we're going to do is we're going to draw a line between two squares if a knight can move from one squ uh, between those two squares. So the knight on a1 can definitely move to c2, uh, but it can also move to b3. And from those positions, it can move to different squares. And we're just going to draw lines and connect them. Uh, once we get to this final move right here, we've actually completed a circuit, and we can't create any more unique uh, arrows. Everything has already been done before. And this is going to help us solve the puzzle. So what we do is we're going to abstract once more and make the board uh, disappear. And we will label the uh, endpoints of the graph with the corresponding squares that they, uh, they represent. And we'll also just move the knights over to the spots. So how is this, going, this graph going to get us to the solution? Well, it looks like a complicated graph with a lot of lines uh, overlapping, intersecting. So we're just going to rearrange this graph and unfold it. Uh, just think about it like a game of Cat's Cradle. Um, so we start out with uh, this point C2 over here. We're just going to move it over and keep keeping the same links connected. Uh, so as, all we've done is we've sort of pulled out the C2, um, and we're going to keep doing this. Now we're going to take this A3 over here, and we're going to pull it out. Um, and we keep doing this. We'll we'll pull out B1, we'll move over uh, A2, and then B3, and C1. So this is exactly the same graph that we had before, that star-shaped graph. It's just we've rearranged it to make a circuit. And uh, finally, what we can do is all the lengths between the different squares are the same. So we'll just renormalize this and draw it to uh, an octagon. So now this is exactly the same graph, we've, uh, but it's a much simpler representation. We have the four knights. We have the spots that they can move to. And this will get us to solve the puzzle. The only way that we can get the knight on a1 and c3 to swap positions, and c1 and a3 to swap positions, is we're going to have to rotate this graph either clockwise or counterclockwise for spaces. Uh, this means that each knight is going to have to move over four spaces. And this puzzle can be solved, and it can be solved in a minimum of 16 moves. So that's the elegant answer. I hope you enjoyed this puzzle, and you uh, should subscribe to me so because I do math and game theory uh, videos. You can also read more about my stuff on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, or on Twitter at Presh Talwalker, and get my eBooks at Amazon.